Come on. Okay. Going live. Going live. You're live. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Kept you waiting, huh? On the 1050 Ti, 750 Ti, 570, 1650 Super, and maybe the GT 1030 at the end of the live stream. It's all up to you guys if you want to see that or not. So as you can see, here it is. It's on Battle.net at the moment. Unfortunately, no Steam version, nothing like that. And it seems to be online all the time. How are you guys doing? So let me show you the options menu. We got a resolution option. But in the advanced video, we got, well, the usual Unreal Engine 4 stuff, which, I mean, look at this, until is in quality, insane, egg times. I tested this super quickly, and this is not MSAA, this is actually TAA, so it doesn't affect performance that much. And there's a benchmark mode, so great, there's a benchmark option, which is super interesting in this case, because... I don't know, I wasn't expecting Crash Bandicoot to have a benchmark mode. We're going to try that out first. So this is 1080p max settings. Hey, como dice Franco Paredes, todo bien? Hi, El Frantic. Why don't you start with the 750 Di? Because it's not the most popular card on the channel. That's why I, I give it a third place, because most people are waiting for the 1050 Di, in my channel at least. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. Just wanted to say that graphics cards don't exist anymore. Well, yeah. That's why budget cards, at least in my case, are getting more abuse. So with the maximum settings on 1080p, we run the benchmark. So you can quit at any time. The longer it runs, the better the results. So good. But the interesting thing about this benchmark mode is that you actually play the game. <laughs> so as you can see here, we are already into the game but we can move around so let me tell you we are at 63 fps you can probably see down here it says draw 68 at the bottom right this is the actual frame rate this is what the gpu can do and behind me this is what the cpu can do 200 fps so if we get a better gpu we will be able to do more with this cpu so just pay attention to the actual frame rate on the maximum settings, we're getting 60 frames, at least in this part. But I wanted to show you the anti-aliasing option. If you put it at the lowest, which is disabled, this is not actually... We were at 69 FPS, nice. We are now at 70. So we lose 3 FPS by maximum anti-aliasing. And the, the game looks super jaggy. That's because this is not MSAA, this is actually TAA. And in this game it looks pretty good. So yeah, I mean we're over 60 now. 1650 Super when? At the end of the livestream probably, but don't worry. This will be super quick because I already played this game before. But I mean, look at that guys. Maximum settings, 1050 Di. And we're getting 60 frames. <laughs> so it runs super well. I'm pretty impressed, actually. And it's also the X11. But let me see if I can smooth out the, the, this thing. Maybe lower in the um, shadows from insane to high. Let me see if that improves anything at all. From 55 to 56. Not a huge difference. If I lower post process effects and shadows, it's probably going to be an improvement. Let me see. Okay, yeah. A few extra frames, but not a huge visual difference. So we're going to keep it on the highest for now. We're going to find the most demanding place, which is probably one of the first levels in this case. Is this available on Steam? Unfortunately not. It's only on the battle.net thing. So the blizzard battle.net. That's the only way, the only place where it's uh, available at the moment. Which is pretty unfortunate, but hey, it was to be expected, this Activision, after all. So yeah, at the moment, the only way to play this is Battle.net. So while you download the Warzone updates, you can play Crash Bandicoot, I guess. <laughs> I guess running super well so far. And it looks pretty decent. This is the benchmark mode, which in this case is a playable benchmark. After this, we're going to the actual game. 
So this is the most demanding part, as far as I can remember, when you're moving around the, these branches. Which, I mean, look at that, 60 frames per second, maximum settings. On the 1050 Ti. It was only on the consoles, and I remember PS4 Pro was getting 60 frames on 1080p, and Xbox One X as well, as far as I remember. So yeah, I mean, super smooth so far. Anyways, let's go to the actual game now. This was the benchmark tool. So average frame rate was 64 FPS, minimum 40, maximum 72. The GPU average was 169 and the CPU average 190. So a 4 core 4 thread CPU should do this just fine. So let's keep these settings. Oh, also, let me disable the motion blur for now. <laughs> it's per object motion blur, but it's kind of distracting, at least to me. So let's jump into the game now. Esperando en el Steam Verde. Bueno, sí. En breve, supongo. So guys, one thing that I don't like about Battle.net is that many of the titles there are online only. So let me check if I disable my internet connection, if the game is still running. Let's see. So no internet connection now. I disconnected the cable. Let's see if the game keeps running. Okay, apparently yes. Yeah, that PC does not have internet now. And the game is still running, so... Yeah, apparently it's not always online. I'm already disconnected. Yeah, apparently. So yeah, it's working offline so far. So good. I disconnected my ethernet cable from... Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh no, it's online only. Oh my god, your network connection has been lost. Guys, you cannot play this single player game offline. Oh, never mind. You will be prompted to exit the game upon finishing or leaving the level. Okay, so you can finish the level. It says press OK to continue playing. Your progress will be saved upon compl completion. So actually, if I if you lose your internet connection, they allow you to exit the level or finish the level and save your progress, but you cannot continue playing the game after you finish the level so you need an internet connection to play this pretty unfortunate so yeah you cannot play the entire game without an internet connection bad news so yeah that's pretty unfortunate i'm going to connect my ethernet cable again so i can keep playing the game anyways well that's a disappointment So a single player game that requires an internet connection. Thanks Activision. We love you. I guess that's to avoid piracy. So yeah, I don't know. Thank you so much, Luis Luis Mathias, for the 5 P E N. Ah, muchas gracias. <laughs> Dice, eres lo máximo, Santiago. Saludos desde Perú. Bueno, muchas gracias por ayudar al canal con esa donación. Se agradece un montón. Muchísimas gracias, Luis. Saludos por ahí desde Uruguay. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. I forgot it was in Spanish, so my brain broke for a bit. Did you buy the game? Yes, on Battle.net. It's only available on Battle.net so far. So, uh, yeah, I buy, I bought the game. As, as usual, I mean. So, yeah, guys, as you can see, the game requires an internet connection to work from beginning to end so keep that in mind that's what you need i mean at least if you lose your internet connection you can keep playing the game until you finish the level and they save your progress which is a huge improvement over the um, over other always online games but still if one day those servers go down you're basically screwed so that's that's kind of a bummer if you ask me Okay, I don't know how to access this place. Yeah, nothing avoids piracy. Yeah, they're going to find a way around it eventually. That's what always happens. It happens with Assassin's Creed 2 back then. And it's going to happen again eventually. It's about time, like the title suggests. ¿Qué onda? ¿Todo bien, Leonidas? Todo bien acá, por suerte. Solo en Battle.net o en otra plataforma. Solo en Battle.net por ahora. 
Guys, this game is only on battle.net at the moment, so the only way to play it is on Activision's launcher, Activision Blizzard's launcher. So yeah, are you from Uruguay? Yeah, I'm from Uruguay. That's correct, sir. I'm from that part of the world, the part where we drink mate and Luis Suarez and all that good stuff. We're usually pretty chill here, I guess. But I mean, yeah, on maximum settings, we're getting pretty good numbers so far. Not complaining. Working way better than I expected, really, considering this runs on PS4 Pro at 60 frames on 1080p. I was expecting less performance from a 1050Ti. You know how that goes. Saludos desde El Salvador. Bueno, saludos desde Uruguay, compadre. Si es que así se dice en ese país, no tengo ni idea. <laughs> All right, get out of my way. You think our 7260X can run it? Yeah, probably. This doesn't seem to be super demanding so far. You can probably get away with 720p 60 frames on that one. It's a DX11 title after all. What time is it there? It's 1 p.m. here. Oh man, it's 1 p.m. 104 p.m. Jesus Christ, I'm getting distracted so easily. It doesn't use too much CPU. Yeah, true. This is a 4 core X thread part and we're using 20%, so it should be basically 70% of a quad core CPU. Okay, we finished the level. Any update from RPCS3? Nothing new to add at the moment. So yeah, we did it. Good, good, good. Let's continue. So are you going to test 8K later? Yeah, of course, man. 8K never gets old. Never gets old. Part where Natalia Reiro is from. Yeah, true. <laughs> true, true, true. You guys seem to, seem to love her. Out there. And I don't blame you. Alright. Es un juego nuevo. Sí, es, eh, es la secuela de los de Play 1, básicamente. Anyways, come on. ¿Dirías que el juego corre mejor que el Insane Trilogy? Creo que corre un poco similar, no sabría decirte porque no me acuerdo acá, literal. Somebody's asking me if this runs better than the Insane Trilogy. I don't really know, I don't remember exactly how it ran. But I think it runs almost the same. It was pretty easy to get 60s on that one. But this one being Unreal Engine 4, the other one was Alchemy, which... What the heck? It says standing still. That didn't work. So I should stand still to spin. Okay, that works. So stand still to destroy one crate. Okay, that works. So as I was saying, uh, this is a different engine than the Insane Trilogy. This is Unreal Engine 4. The Insane Trilogy was using Alchemy, which is a completely different engine. So this one has unlocked frame rates. Everything works out right out of the box. So yeah, it's doing pretty well so far, despite being the highest settings, so I'm expecting pretty good numbers on my other GPUs. We are even going to try 1440p and 4K, I mean, why go below 1080p on this game? Oh no, oh, classic, classic fail. Saludos de Argentina, bueno, saludos de Uruguay. ¿Ya estás para jugarlo completo? Sí, está en la tienda de Blizzard, battle.net. Alright, doing better. Hell yeah. So far, I'm seeing the biggest drops in the cutscenes. Outside of the cutscenes, it seems to be fine, so we're going to keep a cutscene working after this. But it appears to be dropping in cutscenes, not in gameplay. Which is fine, I mean, I, I don't mind cutscenes dropping below 60, as long as the gameplay is entirely over 60. So, so far so good. I'm pretty impressed. I was expecting worse numbers, really. Considering, again, this is a 1050 Ti. Why people hate in Activision? Because decisions, decisions, weird, weird. So, yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh, Usually, not great practices coming from Activision, which is kind of to be expected so far. 
they've been like that all the time, which doesn't mean it's good. Oh yeah, they're not they're pretty scammy in general. Alright. We got through the level. Let's see the cutscene if it drops below 60. Yeah, it's a new game on PC. Yeah, it wasn't on PC, it was only on the consoles. Now it's on PC, finally. Let's see the cutscene. Okay, this is a pre-rendered thing, so we skip it. Pregunta of Topic, ¿cuánto tiempo te tomó para aprender el inglés fluido? Y más o menos, después del first certificate, empecé a practicar y fue bastante rápido. Así que no debería tardar mucho tiempo. Yo diría unos 3 años, 2-3 años si le metes mucho. ¿Cuánto corre el Fortnite? A más de 100 FPS. So guys, we're now jumping to the next world. Oh, I have to restart the game because I lost my connection. So yeah. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, it's on Battle.net, the same place when you play Warzone or the other Call of Duty games, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So here is when you can buy Crash 4. It's the only platform at the moment where the game is available, but it requires a constant internet connection. The good thing, at least, if you don't have a constant internet connection, is that it saves your progress after you finish it, after you finish the level, and it kicks you out of the game. It doesn't kick you out right away, which, I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's a better implementation, but it still pisses me off. I mean, it's a single-player game, for crying out loud. So, yeah. Anyways. So I cannot, also I cannot skip these intro logos, pretty unfortunate I guess, we're going to find a way. The thing we're still missing is Crash Team Racing on PC, so probably coming to PC eventually. I'm really looking forward to that one, but yeah. Anyways, let's see, okay, we're now into the game again, we're logging in. I'm sleeping. I sleep. Okay, so as I was saying before, guys, no no motion blur, we're on 1080p, and we're on the highest settings, the insane option. And the insane option and anti-aliasing is not MSAA, it's TAA. TAA in this game looks pretty good, I'm impressed. And by disabling anti-aliasing, we only earn a couple extra FPS, only 3 FPS more. So my advice, keep this on the maximum, the game looks amazing with this enabled. So yeah, let's get back into the game now, now that we have an internet connection. Red Wings, Aces of the Sky is free on Steam. Okay, thank you guys for letting me know, let me look it up. Red Wings, Steam, let's put the link there in the description. <laughs> and I do a video after we are done with the live stream. Okay, it ends today, so guys, free game, link in the comments, if you want to get a game for free. Thanks for the heads up, guys, I appreciate it. So let's get now into this level. We're going to watch the cutscene, if it's not pre-rendered, to see if it drops there. Probably going to drop, but again, I'll, as long as it's outside of the gameplay, I don't know what Bandicoot Battle is. Okay, so the cutscene dropped a little bit below 60, but it's looking pretty good. I mean, you're not controlling anything right now. So yeah, cutscenes drop below 60, that's fine. I don't mind cutscenes dropping, I'm not in control. Yeah, it looks like a pre-rendered movie, I agree completely, yeah. Like a CG film. And this is real-time graphics on 1080p. Hello, Angel, Arian, Cozy, whatever else. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Why not release on Steam? I don't know, ask Activision. It's a little over overexposed. Let me lower the brightness a little bit. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a brightness option. Let me check. Yeah, no brightness option. Okay, so it's going to be over overblown a little bit. Alright, but yeah, it's, it's over 60, no issues whatsoever. In the cutscenes it drops, but again, who cares? In the cutscenes you're not uh, controlling the game at all. So yeah, pretty impressed, not gonna lie, and the game looks pretty good. 
I've seen worse looking Unreal Engine 4 games that run a lot worse than this, so... Good job, Toys for Bob. That's how you do it. So, oh, also guys, I'm, I'm going to try now 1440p. I mean, why go below 1080p if, if it's over 60 all the time? So, 1440p now on a 1050 Ti. I mean, guys, that's insane. Literally. So, 1440p max settings now. Everything on insane. I'll return. We're going to save those settings. Good. Alright, so 1440p, maximum settings, we are over 50, but it looks less smooth, but super sharp. I mean, it's insanely better looking on 1080p, that's for sure. But we're going to try and tweak it a little bit later. As of right now, whoa. Oh man, it jumps twice. It got me. You don't even care if the cutscenes are cap at 30. Well, they're not cap at 30, so... You're going to be happy to know that it, they run at 60. Okay, it jumps twice. Come on, two jumps. One, two, let's go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Another jump. Alright, good. Nitro crates explode on touch. No, no way. That's impossible. It's insane. Yeah, I, I understood that reference. <laughs> it's insane. But as you can see, guys, it's fine at 1440p. Over 30 frames on the highest settings. Let's see if we can get 60s by lowering the shadows and the post process. So we destroy the post process, we destroy the shadows and the effects. The anti aliasing again is TAA, doesn't affect performance that much. So let's see, okay, so guys, as you can see, lowest settings does not remove shadows completely, the shadows are still there. So let's try destroying the anti-aliasing for now, let's see if that changes anything, we were at 55 frames, now we are at... Okay, 62, we earned a, a, a few extra frames, I'd rather play at 55 FPS than no anti-aliasing, in this game without anti-aliasing, the jagged edges are super noticeable. So we're going to put it on... Let's try on low. Let's see if that even looks slightly better. Okay, even on low, the anti aliasing is working great. But the performance hit is the same. So we're going to keep it on... On the highest anti aliasing I mean, the performance is basically the same. 55 FPS. So this is 1440p low. Low shadows, effects, and post process. Basically, the only thing that is cranked up is the TAA and the textures. And we're going to see if we can maintain over 50. And we're going to try 4K, don't worry, guys. 4K is coming. But I need to test 1440p first, since it looks. It looks better than 1080p, without a doubt. I mean, it's insanely better. Are you going to do Forza Horizon 4 on Steam? It runs a little bit worse than the Windows Store version, so I might, who knows. Maybe later. But as you can see, guys, on the lowest settings, we do not lose the shadows. The shadows are still there, the game still looks pretty decent. And with the anti aliasing it looks super sharp. No jacked edges at all. So yeah, pretty impressed with the numbers so far. Remember Unreal Engine 4. So yeah. Oh, I screwed up there. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Crash. So as I was saying, the shadows are a little bit softer, but that's about it. I think the shadows in the distance are missing. No, there's still some shadows going on. But I mean, yeah, super smooth. TAA is hit and miss, I remember when I played Just Cause 4. Well, yeah, in some games TAA is super blurry. Well, this is one of those games where TAA looks good. So, 
I mean, if you can enable it, do it. In this game, TAA doesn't look blurry, at least in my opinion. But in Just Cause 4, man, such a bad implementation of TAA. Absolutely terrible implementation in that game. That's for sure. But there are some games where it looks pretty good. This is one of them. So happy to see that. Because I'm not seeing any Jaggies whatsoever. It looks amazing with TAA. So yeah. I don't know how base consoles are running this game at 30. It's so well optimized. Well, yeah, I agree. At least the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are running at 60. But, I mean... The good thing about performing the, the, the good thing about it performing so good is that it runs on the Switch. So I'd rather play this on um, PC at 60 personally. But I mean it runs on the Nintendo Switch. That's already telling a lot about performance. I know it's 540p on the Switch, on duck on portable mode, but still that's pretty impressive. Considering how the game looks like. So yeah, so far so good, even when looking into the distance like this, we're into the 50s. So yeah, looking good. So 1440p guys, just if you want over 50, make sure to lower those settings to these settings to low, post process to low, shadows to low, effects to low, and the rest cranked up. Let me show you the highest settings very quickly. So we were at 50 on the lowest settings, and on the highest settings we are in the 40s so we lose 10 fps while going to the highest so let's try out 4k 4k i'm not expecting 60 frames but i am expecting 30 considering what we got a few minutes ago so 4k now on the highest settings let's see 4k max <laughs> wish me luck i'm going to need it hang on going to apply those settings. It's already looking pretty bad at 4K on the options menu. Okay, so 4K highest settings, 20 frames per second to be expected. Let's go lower. Let's go low effects, low shadows and low post process. Until I see in this case, let's put it on 1X. Shouldn't change performance that much, but it's worth a shot. Alright, 25 FPS, going to disable anti-aliasing <laughs> altogether. So bye bye anti-aliasing. Okay, 27, 28. So 4K lowest, we are not getting even 30 frames per second, which is fair I guess. 1800p is probably the best way in this case. So I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to try 1800p. One second, guys, gotta quit the game first. Uh, will we have the crack soon? I don't think so. It's probably going to take a while because this game is always online. So it's going to take a little bit longer, I guess, if we're waiting for the crack. So hang on, guys, going to try 1800p because 4K is not 30 frames per second. So what we're going to do is change resolution. And here we're going to create a custom resolution. So 1800p is 3200 by 1800, which is a good way to get decent numbers close to 4K. And the games still look pretty sharp. So 1800p, we're doing now. 3200 by 1800. So we got that resolution now in our list. And we're going to launch the game once more. So we're going to try 1800p, so 3200 by 1800. It's a resolution very used by the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X on many games, which looks super, super sharp. So 1800p, we're doing low shadows. Now let's do max settings. Max settings should be 30 frames at 1800p. The GT1030 probably runs it, yeah, probably. It's going to be fine. Always online. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it's a first person, it's a single player game. But I guess they do that to slow down the piracy. So at least when you lose your connection, the game says, well, finish the level, we save your progress, and we kick you out. <laughs> so better than nothing, I guess, but still a bummer. It's a single player game, guys. Uh, it kind of sucks when it does that. 
Ah, ¿podré jugar Kingdom Hearts 1, 2 y 3? Sí, cuando salgan, los voy a probar. Guys, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming next week. We're testing it, of course. Alright, so as you can remember, 4K was not playable. It was cinematic 25 FPS. So we're doing 1800p now, which is a little below a little below 4K, but it looks super sharp. Lower the textures at 4K, it doesn't make a difference. We're using less than 4 gigabytes. It's going to run the same, trust me. I know what I know what I'm talking about. So as you can see 4K, yeah, it was 2930 25 in the worst cases, so let's go 1800p. Again, a little bit below 4K, but it should make us get playable frame rates. We're going to start with insane graphics. Let's see if we can get even 30 frames. I, I'm pretty certain that we have to lower effects, shadows, and post process, but hey, let's give it a shot. Save the progress. Okay, 1800p highest settings is 32 FPS in this area, but it's going to get worse. So we're going to lower post-process and shadows and effects to medium. And a little bit of the anti-aliasing. It's TAA, but again. Okay, we, we got a few extra frames. Let's see if we can maintain it that way. So this is 1800p medium settings. Which again looks super sharp, even on a 4K screen. What's your favorite game so far from 2021? Uh, oh man, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Hitman 3 probably. Yeah, Hitman 3 I would say. Although it was super short. But yeah, it was my favorite so far. Hitman 3, great game. Feels like a DLC for Hitman 2, but... Yeah, pretty good game. Alright, so 1800p would be my 30 frames per second experience for the game. Still looks pretty good. It looks way sharper than 1440p, that's for sure. So yeah. If you guys want 30 frames per second, you can do so at 1800p on a 1050Ti. So that tells you something about optimization on this one. So, pretty interesting, if you want to play it at 30 frames and you just want quality, you can do so, although this is a game I would play at 60 frames per second. So yeah, chat para PC, si en battle.net. Guys, this game is only on battle.net, not on Steam, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. But it's great to see an Unreal Engine 4 game running so well on a 1050 Ti. That's pretty impressive in my in my books. So yeah, if you wanted to play it, pretty easy to run so far. The only things that drop frame rates are cinematics. Uh, 2021 has no games yet. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's true. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I lost my internet connection for a second. I hate when that happens live. So <laughs> yeah, it even kicked me out of the game. So as I was saying, 1800p is fine. 30 frames per second. So my advice is play on 1080p max settings. It's 60 frames basically all the time. So yeah, sorry about that guys. Sorry about the interruption. So as I was saying, yeah, as you can see, 30 frames, 1800p. You can do 1440p max, 30 frames per second, 1800p medium. Or you can do basically um, 1080p max, which will be my choice for this card. Just go for insane on 1080p. So yeah. Yeah, we're still on the 1050 Ti. That tells you something about how the game runs. So just go for the highest on 1080p, like this, put it on insane on 1080p, like I'm doing right here. So this is 1080p max. And as you can see, it's 60 frames per second, so do this, 
<laughs> do yourself a favor and play it at 60. Super smooth. Looks great. So time to swap GPUs now. We are at how much time? 30 minutes in, so great. Let's quit out of the game now. So Crash Bandicoot 4 on battle.net. Let's swap to the um, 750 Ti. No, the 570. Then we do the 750 Ti. So time to swap GPUs now, guys. One second, the PC is shutting down. Yeah, 70 FPS on the highest settings. It runs amazingly well. No reason to play at anything higher, really. And if it runs like that on the um, 1050 Ti, imagine how the 570 is going to run it. Probably 4K 30, 1440p 60, and 1080p over 80. So 570, let's plug it in. Let's have some fun. And considering it's a real engine 4, it's probably going to be a little bit better on the NVIDIA cards. That's usually how it goes. So uh, I'm expecting still better numbers on the 570 because it's a better, very capable card. But hey, is Huawei a Catholic country? No, is it doesn't have any religious background. It's everything. Nothing is tied to any religion. I don't know how that's said in English. Let me check that out. Um, layman? Secular? I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> We're not tied to any religion in this country. Podría hacer un video para optimizar las 570 con conectarla y instalar los drivers a Kansa en general. All right, guys, we're back into the PC now on the 570, which I have no worries, really. It's going to run it just fine. So let me check first if there is any driver update for the 570. As you can see, 570 21.3.1. Let's check out if we get any updates. So recommended plus optional. OK, we're up to date with the drivers. Good, 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 good. Time to jump into the game then. Come on, Crash. So again, guys, it's only on Battle.net. There's no Steam version as of right now, which is kind of a bummer, but hey, it's always online as well. Another bummer, single player game, always online. Ridiculous, but hey, audio lagging. What do you mean? As of right now, it sounds fine. Secular. Okay, thanks, Snorty McGout. I appreciate that. You learn new words every day. Secular. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, the SpongeBob game is another one that runs amazingly well. Well, that one runs even better than this one. It was like 4K on a 1050 Ti. <laughs> Ridiculously smooth. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Now that we are on the GT, GT 1030 can run this game. We're going to try it at the end of the live stream because many of you guys are requesting it. All right, logging in. I'll drink some water in the meantime. Ah, water. Okay, turning on my controller. Hang on. All right, so 1080p, insane settings as usual. So let's go. It should be easily over 60, maybe 100 FPS. We'll see. <laughs> uh, are you using a test bench right now or is your main GPU now? My main GPU is at 2060 and um, uh, open test bench. Oh, no, it's just a PC without a, a side panel. Okay, stutter so fixed. Alright, so yeah, 90 frames per second on the highest settings on 1080p, so no worries. This is probably going to be 60 even at 1440p. And we can probably do 4K 30 frames per second. So looking forward to give that a shot. But I mean, look at those numbers, it's insane. I might I want to finish this level guys. If not, I'm not going to progress with the game at all. So let's finish this level. 
and we jump into the next one. I need to do some progress. So we're going to speed run through it. We're not going to pick up anything, basically. Oh man, I forget that they jump twice. Oh, thank you so much, Gurpreet Singh. Sorry if I messed that up. For the 200 Indian rupees donation. Will Horizon Forbidden West come to PC? Otherwise, I'll be buying a PS5 just for it. Well, first of all, thank you so much for the donation, man. Super appreciated, so I can continue doing what I do in the channel. So thank you so much for the support. And I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn, the first one, came to PC, so it's probably going to happen eventually. It's probably coming to PS5 and a few years later on PC, if, if we are lucky. But they're probably going to make it exclusive for the PS5 first. And then a few... a little bit of time later it coming to PC. Maybe, who knows. But they're going to make so much money releasing it on Steam, just like on the first game. And they're releasing Days Gone as well, so if Days Gone sells well and all the games they publish sell well on PC, we're going to probably see a lot more PS4 games coming. I'm personally, I'm personally looking forward to Bloodborne on PC, if it ever comes out. But yeah, if you're super looking forward to play it, you probably are going to play it first on PS5. So yeah, that's my, my take. I don't know anything really, that's all, all on Sony's side. But my gut tells me that it's coming to com going to come eventually. Do you play Warzone? What do you think about its optimization? Warzone is kinda mixed, usually when looking into the distance it runs pretty poorly, but in general you can at least play the game fine. So yeah guys, do you want to see the GT1030 at the end of the livestream? I mean I have that as an option if you want to see it, but I'm going to do separate videos testing this game. So don't worry, we're going to do more GPUs, we're even doing the 2060, the 2060 should easily be 4K60. But hey, all up to you guys, just let me know. Yeah, let's skip those extra levels for now. But even looking into the distance, we're into the 90s. I mean, look at that. Will Crash 4 be cracked? Eventually, everything is cracked eventually, but this game has the extra difficulty that it's online all the time. So it's going to take a little bit longer, I guess, if you're waiting for a crack or something. <laughs> so be patient. I think eventually we'll get there, but being always online is going to make it tougher. So yeah, just remember guys, you never know. Maybe it gets cracked today, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a year. We don't know. But being always online makes it more difficult. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Lo puedes comprar en Battle.net, en la tienda de Blizzard. Guys, if you want to purchase this game, which I highly recommend, it's a fantastic game. It's only on Battle.net at the moment, not on Steam. So Battle.net, where you play Warzone, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. In those places you can find this game. It's $40, $39.99, or the equivalent in your country. Makes sense to test weaker GPUs in this game? Yeah, agreed. We're going to do it eventually though. The good thing is that it's so scalable, you can increase the resolution and the game is looking a lot better. Even if you have a, a 1080p screen, you can do 4K on it. So let's now do 1440p. It's probably going to be 60s on the highest settings, but worth a shot. It's going to be looking super sharp. So time to do 1440p. Looking forward to it. So we're going on the highest settings first. And then we see what we do. So 1440p max settings. Let's apply those settings. Yeah, save those. Okay, 50s. Closer to 60. Let's see if we start playing the level, if it fixes itself. But I mean, lowering it to medium should give us 60 frames easy. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, I think medium will do the job just fine. We should still keep those good shadows and the reflections. 
Okay, yeah, mid 60s now. That fixed the problem. So 1440p medium. That gives us 60s, apparently. Let's keep playing the game to find out. But I mean, it looks great. Can you play it without internet? No, you cannot, unfortunately. I mean, if I lost my internet connection here, the game will tell me, hey, you, lose, you lost your internet connection, finish the level and we save your progress and we'll kick you out, basically. So you can at least keep playing the game and save your progress, but you cannot finish the game without an internet connection. It'll kick you out after you finish the level. So yeah, kind of a bummer, if you ask me. It's a single player game. Okay, there's something hidden in here. So yeah, just a heads up guys, always online. Hopefully they remove that later on, but uh, yeah. Just like Cold War and Modern Warfare, the campaigns, always online. Battle.net, you know how it goes. Activision, I wasn't expecting anything less from them. <laughs> But at least the game is on PC, and I'm happy that it runs so well. Oh, I screwed up. Uh, I was expecting the 570 to get 60s on max settings though. Well, it's into the 50s. It's close. It's close. I mean, on higher settings it was mid 50s, so if you don't mind the drops into the 50s, max settings is fine. And it doesn't look that much different to medium, so should be good to go anyways. I mean, medium settings looks almost the same. <laughs> Probably the draw distance is a little bit worse, and uh, the ambient occlusion is less accurate, and the shadows might be a slightly lower resolution. But I mean, the game looks great still. And this is 1440p we're talking about. So, yeah. Anyways, also remember Unreal Engine 4. Usually, Unreal Engine runs better on Nvidia personal experience of course but uh, I'm super impressed still with the numbers we're going to maybe try 1800p and 4k now I think I already saw enough of 1080p and 1440p it's running just fine we'll get 10 fps on 1650 super and 8k we're going to find out eventually but I'm looking forward to check that out <laughs> Let me continue this level first. I'm I'm getting into it. It's pretty fun. This is the real sequel to the crashes I played on my childhood on PS3. On PS3. On PS2. Sorry, on PS1. Jesus, it's been a while. I feel old. I remember when I played Crash Bandicoot Warped, Flash, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2. Good times. Good times. Crazy to, s crazy to say that it, the, the games I played in my childhood are like 25 years old already. I feel old. It took them so long to release this. It's about time, literally. Okay, the, the levels are getting a little bit more complex, which is always a plus. Okay, we got it. Awesome. So we're going to try now 4K and 1800p. So because you have to be connected all the time, does it mean you can have lags in single player? No, that's not what I'm saying. If you lose your connection, the game uh, just puts a message on the screen that says, hey, you lose your connection, you're going to finish the level and we'll kick you out. So it doesn't lag due to being online. That's a good thing, at least. It's not like Need for Speed 2015, that if you lost your connection you got stutters. No, this is not one of them. This is, the, this is one that just pauses the game, tells you, hey, you lost your connection. Finish the level, we save your progress, and we'll kick you out, basically. So, no. The good thing about this is it does not stutter due to an uh, unstable internet connection, which is good. So as I was saying, 1440p, you can do 60 frames just fine on medium settings. So we're going to try now 4K. To see if we can get 30 frames per second. 
So 4K medium, we're going to start with that. Okay, 4K medium is over 30, so we're going to keep it like that, I guess. We're not getting 60s, that's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, 4K, we're at 30, let's keep playing to find out if it stays at 30. Not so far so good. Okay, we're getting some stutters. Yeah, maybe I, can l I lowered the taxes. Yeah, we're getting very close to the 4 gigabyte limit. Let's lower those taxes to high. That should help out. Let's see if that changes in real time. Okay. Okay, that's a lot better. So 4K medium with high taxes. In this case, it helps. So 4K on the Nvidia on the AMD cards seems to be using more VRAM, which is usually the norm. You know how that goes. But yeah, 30 frames is working, although personally, again, 60 frames will be my target in a game like this. But it runs so well. <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. Yeah, there are even screen space reflections on medium settings, so you don't lose a lot of visual fidelity. Although, yeah, very close to 30. Yeah, even when looking into the distance, we get volumetric effects. So, pretty impressed so far with the, the visuals, even on medium settings. So, yeah. Good work, Toys for Bob. Good work. AA off? No, it's not off because we got TAA and TAA we lose only like 3 FPS, it's not worth disabling. The game looks so much worse without TAA that in my opinion it's not worth disabling. TAA at 4K looks so sharp, it's, I mean it doesn't make a lot of sense to disable it. We're not getting 60s anyways. So again, not worth disabling. It'll give you a performance improvement, like 3-4 FPS more. But the game it has a lot of jaggies without TAA. And at 4K, since it's temporal reconstruction, it uses previous frames to fill the, um, the, image, the image. At 4K we have so many pixels that TAA looks, looks great. Doesn't make a lot of sense to disable it, really. So yeah. That's my take, at least. You can even enable motion blur and you just uh, get a lot of image quality out of it. The game should run fine on the GT1030, yeah, probably. We're going to give it a shot at the end of the livestream if you guys want to check that out. I have a 1030 lying around. So yeah. Don't worry, we're getting there eventually. I need to finish this level at least. Oh no, I screwed up there. Oh no, oh! Good shot. I'm so good at this game, oh my god. And yeah, mi juego se queda actualizando y no avanza. Capaz que porque hay mucha gente descargándolo. Probablemente. Alright, XD? Yeah, sure, why not? XD, XD. That's so 2008. Y no, va a estar todo caro porque la, no hay gráficas en el mundo. Okay, here is dropping below 30. Let's fix it up. We're going to need to lower some stuff. Let's lower effects to low. That should help us out. Let's see... Okay, yeah, that definitely helps us out. We jumped all the way to 30. So we're doing medium settings, high textures, low effects at 4K. And that gives us 30 even when effects show up. So good test, good test. Let's keep it going. So good thing I got to that area.
Hell yeah. ¿Sos argentino? No, soy uruguayo, pero es parecido, yo qué sé. <risa> I have i3 9100F, 1650 Super, and 8 gigs of RAM, but I'm facing game freeze and stuttering. Make sure that that RAM is on dual channel. That's super important in all games. Especially if your CPU... If you have a CPU like that. Oh no. So yeah. Yeah, dual channel. Super important. Do not skip on dual channel. You're not getting a good experience at all without it that is a complete must come on all right we got it beautiful let's wait for the fire to finish all right Good, good, good. There, I saw a few drops below 30, but it got back up very quickly. Something is going to chase me now. This is a real stress test. There are a lot of reflections in this area. I still effing use XT on 2021. Don't at me. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I do not judge. I just find it funny. I mean, I, I was on high school when I used XD. So, you can tell that it's an old expression. <laughs> okay, even with the reflections and effects going on, it's over 30 at the moment. So, pretty impressed with that so far. So, good. Better than anticipated. Almost there. I'm focused. I'm laser focused. I'm not dying. There we go. Another one. Come on, we got this, we got this. Do not fall into the water, Crash. We gotta see the children again. Alright. Almost there. <laughs> We almost finished the level. Let's be quicker. But man, such a good game. I'm so happy it came to PC. Alguna página donde comprar gráficas. La verdad que no sé, están agotadas en todo el mundo. Alright, level complete. That's why you are the best, boss. Anyways. So 4K medium, high textures, low effects. Great stuff. Great stuff. Insanely good. So time to do the 750 Ti now. Again, my advice for the 570, either do 4K medium with low effects for 30 frames per second, 1080p ultra for 60 frames per second, 1440p medium for 60 frames per second, or 1440p uh, ultra for um, 50 to 70 frames, give or take. So yeah, let's go back to the insane option. And we're going to swap to 1080p again, so we can swap to the 1050, 750 Ti, sorry. So yeah, let's go back down. Save the settings, yeah. As you can see on the highest settings, 1080p is fine. So we get out of the game. Te saludo, Renato PC. Todo bien? <laughs> okay, we shut it down. And we swap to the 750 Ti, the legendary graphics card from 2014. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, if you have an RX 580, it should be 10 frames ahead of the 570. So keep that in mind. Should be a little bit better. You should be able to do 1440p max settings at 60, no problem. And 4K on medium, over 30, just fine. So here we go. Legendary graphics card from 2014, the 750 Ti. Wish me luck. All right. Oh, Michael, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Thank you so much, man. Super appreciated. Thanks for supporting the channel directly with the super chat. The very first PS1 game I played 
was Crash, and this game is really fun. Great work as always. Well, thank you, Michael. Same here. One of the first games on PS1 that I played is Crash Bandicoot 1. But at the time I played that, we also had Crash Bandicoot 3. Well, Crash Bandicoot Warped! And uh, yeah, great memories from those games. I recently finished the Insane Trilogy, and I mean, amazing games. They still hold up uh, to this day. Some of the best games I played. But yeah, thank you so much, Michael. And I'm super happy that we got uh, a sequel, finally, after 20 years. It's about time. Used 1650 Super. Yeah, the 1650 Super is here with me. <laughs> it's coming after the 750 Ti. And after that, if you guys want, please let me know in the chat. I have the GT1030, the low-profile single-slot card, if you want to check it out. The most low-end card I have. So let me know in the chat if you want to see it. Mando un saludito en español. Bueno, Nesuku... Nesuku Yuku... Iku... <laughs> Perdón, si... La, la embarré ahí. Saludos. <laughs> nice stream. Well, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here with me. Always appreciate it. So, 750 Di now. It's about time. So, as you can see, guys, here it is. 750 Di on the 461.92 driver. Let's jump back into the game. What about It Takes Two? Oh, It Takes Two, I forgot about that game. I should give it a shot. The thing is that I don't have another person that is patient enough to play it with me. But maybe I can play with my with my friend. I can, yeah, I can invite someone over, maybe. <laughs> would you guys want to see two people in my stream? <laughs> that would be fun, I think. It would be weird, but it would be fun. The thing is I need to find someone that can speak English. Well, maybe they don't need to speak English, they just need to be present to play with me. Sure, do it. Dale con la 1030, no problema. Bueno, dale, te agradece. Okay, we're doing the GT 1030 after the 1650 Super, guys. Thanks for the... for deciding. Always appreciate it. Te saludo, Doc Lover. Siempre te veo ahí en los streams. No tienes un Ryzen 3 3200G, lamentablemente ya no. Do you like racing games? Yeah, I love Need for Speed, um, Carbon, and Undercover. Those are great, at least in my opinion. And I love Forza Horizon 4. I used to play Gran Turismo a lot, but yeah, up to Gran Turismo 5. Then I never touch a Gran Turismo game ever again. What other game, racing game I like? Yeah, Forza Horizon 3 and 4, one of my favorites, some of my favorites. Get a hot GF. Well, I have one, but I don't know if she's willing to play with me. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, she's kind of shy. Maybe she doesn't want to play a game with me live. Being shy is kind of difficult. Okay, we're keeping, we're keeping Taxes on medium for this one. It's a 750 Ti. I mean, what, what are you expecting? So we're doing 1080p max. Plus medium textures, so mid textures, the rest on the highest. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we save the settings and we jump back into the game. Let's get, let's get in one of the first levels like we did before. So it's a, a better test. Since the first levels have some uh, foliage going on. So let's start in Rude Awakening. I was a budget gamer, I used to watch your videos. If I can come run on my PC, thanks for your support. Well, thank you, Wade. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's the idea. Y Francisco Fontana, sí, salió para PC hoy en, la, en Battle.net, el launcher de Blizzard. But guys, as you can see, on the highest settings, <laughs> with medium textures, we are over 30 frames per second. So, that's insane. Haha. <laughs> So let me see if on the lowest we can get 60s. I don't think so, but it's worth a shot. So we go to low. Let's see. Okay, on low we're over 50. So pretty crazy. We lose reflections, we lose ambient occlusion. But we still have shadows. 
This is basically a Switch version, I think. <laughs> so let's play on the maximum for a bit, then we lower it. So we go to the insane, we lower those textures. And let's play like this. But yeah, pretty impressive. 750 Ti can do 30 frames on 1080p highest. Good stuff. Let's see if we can maintain 30, but <laughs> at the moment. Como lo descargaste, jugalo en, en battle.net, lo compré ahí. En la tienda de Blizzard, está disponible para comprar. Um, what gamers don't have girlfriends? Yeah, I do have one. <laughs> sorry to sorry to disappoint you. But yeah, I do have one. Good for me, I guess. I'm probably not a real gamer then. <laughs> I thought it was going to get 60 on medium without problems. I mean, dude, it's at 750Ti. What were you expecting? The 1050 Ti got uh, 1080p medium settings, 60 frames, so oh, I screwed up there. Let's try to get all the crates. No, el Switch no es, no es ni una GT 1030, así que imagínate. Guys, again, if you want to play this, it's on battle.net at the moment. Yeah, I mean, even looking at all this stuff on the screen. We're getting um, over 30. So good. Good, good, good. De nada, fútbol mejor. So pretty impressive. Pretty effing impressive. All the ones you need at least three. Well, I only need one. <laughs> Personally, I'm I'm just a man of culture. I don't need more than one. One is more than enough. I mean, I'm just... What the heck? Okay, there's something... Hang on. There we go. Hidden gem found. I'm such a pro. So guys, as you can see... Cada día más fachero. Bueno, muchas gracias. Sos un capo vos. Ahí. <laughs> So guys, as you can see, 30 frames is fine on the highest settings. Let's go to the lowest settings without anti-aliasing. It looks pretty poor without anti-aliasing, but hey, it's a 750Ti. What were you expecting? So 1080p lowest. Now let's see if we can maintain over 50 and then we do 900p and 720p. So uh, yeah, let's see how it holds up. Two for one, good shot. Yeah, you didn't know that the game came out on PC. Yeah, it came out today on Battle.net. You probably didn't find out because Battle.net... Who likes Battle.net? I freaking hate it. Well, I freaking hate it. I don't hate it. It's just uh, a pain in the butt. Because you get less news about games when they release on one of those launchers. I mean, if it released on Steam, it will be in the front page right away. <laughs> So yeah. Santi, ¿jugaste Crash Bash de Play 1? Siento que nadie lo recuerda, pero es súper divertido. Sí, lo jugué con mis amigos un montón. Es uno de mis juegos favoritos. Me gusta más Crash Team Racing, pero sí, me encanta Crash Bash. Super F la Switch. Yeah, I mean, guys, this game is on the Switch on 720p dynamic resolution when docked. An importable mode is 540p, I think. Okay, when there are some lighting effects going on. Like this one, we drop into the 40s, but I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's just for a, a, a few seconds. Yeah, even looking into the distance, we're into the 50s. Go 4K with a 750Ti? Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good, fam. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, when those lighting effects, lighting effects show up, it drops. As, I, as far as I remember, I saw the Digital Foundry video on the Switch version. The Switch version does not have those light and effects that produce shadows. Those are missing. That's probably why it runs a little bit better. But hey, this version at least is completely playable on this card. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, I didn't get anywhere close to all the crates. Eh, that's fine. 
I can't find your Valorant video, just put Valorant Santiago Santiago in YouTube and you should find it pretty easily. Alright, so it was okay, drops into the 40s, mostly into the 50s. You're not trying to benchmark Zelda Breath of the Wild, I did it multiple times, but I'm probably going to do it again eventually. So time for 900p now. We're going to start with the highest settings, then we work our way down. We we'll lower those textures. It's probably going to be 30 frames. Oh, hang on. I'm going to save the progress. All right, perfect. So now we are at 900p. We're going to play the next level. So 900p max plus mid textures. That's how it goes. Oh, I'm going to fix the FPS scanner. You're not going to see anything if I don't fix it. There we go. Beautiful. I know the new consoles play this really nice as well. Yeah, I think the PS5 is 4K60 or 1800p60, as far as I can remember. All right. Yeah, 60 frames in this closed environment. We'll see once effects show up, but uh, yeah, doing pretty good so far. Good start. How are you playing games with different GPUs? I have a separate computer doing the live stream and the computer that's playing the games is just being recorded. That's how I do it. Basically a capture card and a separate computer. It's not that complicated really, but it requires two PCs, which is kind of a bummer. But hey, it is what it is. It took a lot of years to get to this point. So at least I'm happy that I can do it now. Let's get that Wumpa fruit. Crash Bandicoot. Dude, can I know what did you do with your 580? As I said multiple times, you probably missed it. I lent it to a friend that needed a GPU. And most people do not seem to care much about the 580 since I have a 570. It's 10 FPS above. So you just watch the 570 stuff, add another 10 FPS and you're good to go. So yeah, I wanted to help a friend and get some money because I needed to buy other GPUs. They are so expensive now. <laughs> How the heck do I get it? Oh, okay. Never mind. I got it. I forgot that Crash can crouch. Right, I'm getting the hang of it. Give me all those crates. Came out on PC, yeah, today on Battle.net. You can find it there. Conoces a Bo, James Bo? Sí, obvio que sí. Lo que me he reído con eso. Es difícil el juego, sí, a medida que lo jugás se hace muy difícil, pero es bastante... a mí me encantó hasta ahora. Don't screw this up. Oh, I said don't screw this up. Oh, dang it. ¿Santiago habla español acaso? Sí, por supuesto, señor. Que habla español. Is there any benefit to playing this game over 60 on a 60 hertz monitor? It shouldn't be much of a difference, really. No. Oh, man. I always fall for that. Gracias, Ricardo Castillo. Se agradece. Let's see if I can get all the crates now. No! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, I'm not getting all those crates. Screw it. I'm finishing the level. I'm not... I'm not patient enough today. And I got more GPUs to test. So let's skip this, please. Let me skip. Oh, okay. I gotta run away. Wonderful. Love this part. Yeah, give me that gem. Give me that gem. Master. Master of Puppets. 
All right, so far so good on 900p. We're going to lower the settings to medium. Let's see if we can get more consistent 60s. Yeah, let's put let's put the effects on low. That helps us out before. So remember, the anti-aliasing it's TAA, so it doesn't affect performance that much. Medium plus low effects. Oh, and thank you so much to Christo Kavadjav for the 10 VGNs. I don't know what that is. I'm so sorry, man. Hey, how are you? Is everything okay? And have fun. Yeah, it's everything okay. Thank you so much, man, for the donation. Super generous. Always there. Guys, if you never visited Christo Kavadjav's channel, go for it. He does similar content to mine, but he uses more hardware. He also has a 2200G, 3200G. 3400G, he does a lot of content, like mine, but he does more hardware, so I recommend you take a look if you want to use APUs or check uh, different GPUs that I do not own. He also tests 570, 580, I think, so he also shares some similar GPUs to mine, so it's good to have sometimes two places to check from, but thank you so much, man, I appreciate it a lot. It's always appreciated. Six crates, the ones that I couldn't get. Oh, sorry, this is blocking the FPS scanner. So we're now on 900p medium, medium textures, low effects. Let's try the first level very quickly and we jump to the latest one. Can I ever mention the 1030? Si, al final del stream. Eh, sí, Doc Lover, pero yo los instalo una vez sola y vuelvo al primer driver. O sea, cada vez que re reinstalo el stream, reinicio el stream, uh, reinstalo los drivers. Así que no pasa nada. Mientras sea pocas veces. <laughs> so, guys, moment of truth. Let's see if we can maintain 60s here. And after this, we're jumping back to the latest level. Okay, over 50. That should be good enough. In my opinion, at least. Over 50 to me is smooth enough, as always. Personal preference. Alright, looking into the distance. Yeah, I need to go faster. Come on. Speed run time. Do the 1080 and 26 perform the same? Yeah, basically. It depends on the game also. Some games run better on the 20 series cards. But in general, it should be pretty comparable. At least nowadays. The thing with the 2060 is that it has less video memory. So that's kind of a bummer. But in general it should be fine. Pretty comparable. But you have the LSS as well, so that's already a big improvement. So yeah guys, even here with a lot of foliage, we're getting 50 to 60. So my advice for this card, 900p, medium settings, low effects. And that's about it. Let's swap to 720p now. 720p should be max settings just fine. But hey, let's give it a shot. We're only lowering those textures because to give us some memory. So let's fix the FPS scanner. And there we go. So now this is 720 max mid textures and that's about it. There we go. That's how you do it. Creo Kingdom Hearts 2.8 y 3 en una de 30. Sí, debería ser jugable. Ya lo veremos. Some people are asking me about Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, guys, that's coming next week. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be working on it. And the GT 1030 should be playable, that's for sure. Okay, 60 frames as of right now. 50 to 60. Maybe it needs to be on high settings. So let's give that a shot. We're going to stay right here. That it seems to be running worse. And we're lowering post process to high, shadows to high, and effects to high. So basically high settings instead of ultra. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll keep it on high. That's basically it. So if you don't don't care about resolution and want to do 720p, you can do high settings with medium textures. It seems to be fine. In this level that has a lot of foliage, a lot of things in the background. 
we're keeping it over 60 right now so let's change to a separate level so we go to the map hi from bulgaria well hi from uruguay <laughs> thank you so much man welcome to the stream how to play ps4 game on pc this is a pc game so this is not an emulator this is running natively on pc you can find this on battle.net the blizzard launcher Va a ser los, los benchmark con los Kingdom Hearts, sí, por supuesto. Por ahora solo Kingdom Hearts 3, pero veremos. Alright, guys, so this is a boss fight. And it has more effects, so it drops into the 50s, as you can see. But again, one level. <laughs> Let's see the rest of them. And again, no music because, you know, copyrights. YouTube loves those. But if you want to smooth out the performance in this level, you're going to just need to lower those. Oh, come on. That's not the crouch button. Okay, fair enough. So as I was saying, if you want to smooth out the frame rate here, just lower the effects. Let me show you very quickly. So instead of effects on high, just put them on medium or low. Let's see if that fixes it. As you can see now, from 57 we went all the way into the 60s. I should be looking at the game, not the FPS counter. So let's put it back on high. I mean, it's only one level. <laughs> Who cares, really? It's just a couple frames below 60. I'm okay with it. Okay, now I'm paying attention. Oh, I screwed up there. Did anyone else go to the start of the stream to listen to Santiago's intro? No need to go to the start. Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. On the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, 750 Ti, 570... Oh man, I shouldn't be doing this while I'm playing the game. <laughs> and the GT 1030 at the end of the live stream. I have to be so focused to play this. I feel like an idiot. Okay. Doing better. Okay, there's a light at the end of the of the road. We got this. All right. Come on, let's get it done. There we go. Okay, a more difficult section now. That's all right. I enjoy difficult sections. But I mean, this compared to the first games is not that difficult, at least in the first levels. It gets very tough later. But I mean, the first levels are pretty simple. I appreciate a challenge every now and then. The issue is when you tr try to complete the time trials, those are a pain in the butt. Alright, that's how you do it. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's about time. Okay, last part. Crash Bandicoot Guitar Hero 321, sí, literal. Alright, what now? Oh, there you are. Come on. More enemies, please. Oh, no. Oh, so close to dying. There you are. Ha. Huh. Gotcha. Que se usa? Se está toda la descripción. Guys, if you want to see everything that I'm using in this live stream, every spec of each PC, everything in the description. So do not worry. 
everything is there with affiliate links if you want to support me. Also guys, if you enjoy my content, make sure to click the subscribe button, like the live stream, click on the bell where it says all notifications, so you get uh, notified as soon as I start a live stream. I publish so much content that YouTube told me, hey, we, are, we only do notifications three times a day. You upload so many videos that, well, we cannot notify everyone all the time. We don't want to bother anyone. So guys, again, if you like the content, make sure to click the bell with all notifications. It, it really makes a difference. But still, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, we're in the next level. As you can see, this runs better than the boss fight. So, sí, soy tengo bien de argentino, pero somos muy parecidos, o sea. <laughs> Anyways, guys, 750 Ti, uh, you can do 720p high with medium textures, basically 60 frames. 900p low, medium to low for 50 to 60, 900p high for over 30, or 1080p high for over 30. So, it runs amazingly well. Let's go to the insane presets. <clears throat> And we're swapping to 1080p for the next card, which is the 1650 Super. Which should be a lot better, probably 4K30 for the look of, from the look of things. So we save the progress. And we're going to start with this level later. But as you can see, even on the highest settings on 1080p, we're getting <laughs> amazing numbers, over 30 frames. The game looks gorgeous. So yeah, let's get out. And I mean, if you overclock the 750 Ti, you're going to get even better numbers. So yeah, let's shut it down and swap to the 1650 Super. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, time to swap. One second, guys. 1030 moments. Yeah, after the 1650 Super, we're doing the 1030. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we're getting there. Patience, patience. So here's the 750 Ti, let's put it to the side. Uh, here is 1650 Super, 6 pin connector. We got this. Come on, 6 pin connector. Oh, there we go. Neat. All right, it's in. That's what he said. I always do that joke. Hi, Ori Cohen. How's it going, man? This game is challenging. Is Oh, yeah, it's challenging, but the more you get into it, the more difficult it gets because you get more masks. You get, um, yeah, more tough levels, basically, which I think is fine. It's like, it doesn't have difficulty spikes. It gradually gets more difficult. But there are more choices in difficulty, especially if you go time for time trials. Those are super tough. If you're trying to get good times, it's going to take you a while. Because there are gems that you can only get if you finish the level without dying. There are gems for getting all the fruit. There are gems for <laughs> destroying all the boxes. And there's other gems that are for des destroying all the boxes without dying. So there's a lot of gameplay here. So don't worry, you, you're basically covered for the entire, entire time. So 1650 Super now, let's launch the game. In the meantime, I'm going to drink some water. So one second, guys. Good, and you? Well, I'm doing well, thanks. <clears throat> Trying to drink, drink some water. For the people asking for the model of the 1650 Super, everything is in the description. Para que quieran saber qué 1650 Super es, está todo en la descripción. Ahí lo van a encontrar. All right. <clears throat> Here we go again. Does it really force you to be online? Yes, yes. But if you go offline while playing the game, I'll tell you, okay, finish the level, and then we'll kick you out. I will save your progress, so you don't lose your progress, at least. But yeah, it requires you to be always online. Kind of a bummer, but hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not saying it's good. that's good. 
I hate that it has to be always online, but we don't have much of a choice at the moment. Sí, la gente de Estrenta de un ventilador. Yeah, guys, the GT1030 I have is a single fan card. Super tiny, super tiny card. It's insane. But it's probably going to run the game, so we're going to give it a shot. That's for sure. Water is life, so drink. Well, air is also life, so I like to breathe as well. Mmm, air. Alright, so... 1080p, highest settings, let's go! Uh, let's get going! It's probably going to be 100 FPS, easily. ¿Crees que 10 megabytes? Megabytes mínimo para un stream está bien. Sí, sí, para 1080p te da lo más bien. Ponerlo en 8000 kilobytes por segundo, kilobits por segundo en OBS, debería alcanzar. Alright, yeah, as expected on the 1650 Super, this is an Array Engine 4 game, to be expected really. We're getting 100 FPS, 120, on this level at least. We're going to try the first level after this one. But I mean, look at that performance. <laughs> Insanely smooth. We'll see once we get effects on screen, but I mean... To be expected, we, we got almost 60 on the highest settings on the 1050 Ti. But man, the game looks so good. So happy to see a game that runs and looks runs well and looks good. That's always great to see. Alright, getting better at the game now. Boom, wrecked. Reduced to atoms. Oh, almost died. What the? Okay. <laughs> I cannot kill those, I guess. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm not going to destroy all the boxes again. I cannot be bothered, but I'm still doing it for some reason. What the heck, game? Okay, two for one, awesome. Yeah, let's get away from him. I can probably jump on his head, but I'm not going to risk it without a checkpoint. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Good time to be in a checkpoint. Two for one. <clears throat> but still, if a person doesn't have a good internet connection, what can that person do? Mm, not much, really. I mean, the thing with that is that at least it lets you finish the level. So it saves your progress. So as long as you can get into the level, you're good to go. You can finish the level without a, much of a problem. They will save your progress. But then they'll kick you out of the game, so that kind of sucks. But at least you can finish the level and you do not lose any progress. Again, I'm not defending that decision. I think it sucks to play a single player game forcing you to be online. That's freaking stupid. But hey, it's not that we have an option right now other than not buying the game until they change that. So that will be my, my recommendation. Just complain. Complain and they are going to eventually fix it, I guess. What is your favorite game right now? I have so many favorites. I would say Splinter Cell and Max Payne 3 and Resident Evil 5 is a great action game. Los tres están de forma ascendente, no están desordenados, están por popularidad de gráfica, básicamente. So guys, as you can see, 1080p is over 100 FPS, so we go straight to 1440p. No need to beat around the bush. So yeah. Which game are we talking about that requires online Crash 4? Yes, exactly. If you rewind the live stream, you'll see that I tried disconnecting from the internet. And the game told me, hey, you don't have an internet connection anymore. You gotta finish the level and we'll kick you out. <laughs> but we'll save your progress. Which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Got a complaint to Blizzard. Good luck with that, though. 
Okay, 1440p max settings, we're getting over 60 frames per second. So, good news. As of right now. We're getting good numbers. Better on the 570 to be expected, but hey. Oh, that falls. My bad. Let's try that one more time. Eh, no, Doc Lover, te, te sorprenderías, pero es todo lo contrario. Yo que hago videos todo el tiempo de esas, sé exactamente cuál es la popularidad. Hola, Panulu, ¿todo bien? Game is pretty cheap, only 39 euros, so it's worth it in my opinion. Yeah, the game is super long, actually, so for that money I think it's a good purchase, but I still think that it's pretty scummy that they force us to be online all the time. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if I'm paying for the game, give me the best experience. Don't force me to be online. That's just my, my take on it. Doesn't have to be the correct one. Oh, I screwed up there, but at least I got those crates. Alright. That's how you do it. Yeah, I'm not going to break that crate. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's probably another crate I didn't destroy. So let's go for it. Good thing I didn't destroy this one. Oh, I know. That's how you do it. I love that they put a, an optional shadow to know where you're landing. That was one thing that bothered me a lot on the first Crash games. Good thing they addressed it. What the... Oh no! Oh no! Okay, no, I'm not playing that again. I gotta progress. We're going to repeat this level later, but... I was so proud of myself when I screwed up. Okay, hidden gem, thank you. 39 euros es bastante, sí, pero todos los juegos son caros. Si están en euros o en dólares. Así que en realidad. En Steam y en la Epic Store sí están un poco más baratos, pero por Crash, un juego que recién salió, me parece que está bien. Lo que mejor es que esté siempre online, eso es todo. What if I have a portable PC and don't want to play the game in a place that doesn't have internet? Well, screw you then. <laughs> That's basically what they're telling you. The thing there is that you either wait for the game to be cracked or you wait for for them to remove the online requirement. Good luck with them removing their online requirement. Probably not going to happen. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, sí, obvio, bomba head. Tal cual. Estoy de acuerdo. Y puedes esperar, capaz que tenemos suerte. Yeah, the thing with the Blizzard store is it doesn't have regional pricing. So in South America, $39 for it is pretty expensive. Which is true, it's true. So maybe, who knows, maybe in the future it comes to Steam. Maybe. I do not know. But again, the, is the online requirement what pisses me off. Sí, bueno, suerte sacando un crack si tiene solo online, pero se verá. Capaz que tenemos suerte. Well, many games need launchers to be online all the time. Yeah, but not always requires you to be always online. Some games only tell you, okay, we need an internet connection to check if you own the game. But after that, they don't bother you anymore. They just tell you, okay, keep playing the game. We already checked that you actually purchased it. In those cases, I don't mind. But if they require a constant internet connection, I mean, it's a single player game. Sí, se lo van con una 280. Sí, sin dudas. What CPU are you running? Everything is in the description. It's a Ryzen 3 3100. Alright, so as you can see guys, 1440p was fine. Let's go back to the first level to show you that it runs fine. 
very quickly. Then we go back to the latest one. The solution really is to wait for the crack. Yeah, basically. Either that or if they remove the online requirement. Basically, those are your options. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it appears to be over 60 all the time. Once we get to the... Um, to the leaves part, we're going to know. Come on. Yeah, the press of video cards is very expensive. Yeah, nowadays it is, but it's going to be fixed eventually. Hopefully before 2023. <laughs> But in the meantime, we got budget GPUs to test. So these GPUs are here to stay for a while, I guess. Let's go. All right, so far so good. Let's see the moment of truth. Yeah, over, over 60 all the time. So 1440p maximum settings, it's over 60. So, good to know. Let's try 4K now. Let's go balls to the wall. Do you think it might get 4K 30? Yeah, probably. Probably, probably. Although we might need to lower some stuff. But yeah, 4K maximum. Let's give that a shot. Everything on the highest. So let's go for 4K. Save settings, yes. Yeah, <laughs> 30 frames per second at 4K maximum. At least right now, we'll see when once more effects show up. But it appears to be fine. Let's, let's restart the... Um, yeah, let's die. <laughs> Can I die in this part? There we go. As you can see, guys, even when looking into the distance with effects going on, we're getting... Over 30 at 4K on the highest settings. So good. If you want to do 4K at 30, you can do so. Good stuff. Good numbers. That's for sure. Way better than I was expecting, really. Even on a 1650 Super. Okay, it's kind of... Dropping a little into the low 30s. Let's see if we can keep it into the 30s all the time. Yeah, I might try the boss fight again to see if it stays at, th at 30, but so far 4k. 4k is fine. I mean, look at that. 4k 30 on a 1650 Super on the highest settings. How interesting. Oh, I screwed up there. Here it should drop into the low 30s due to the lighting effects. Let's see, those produce shadows. Let's see. Yeah, there. Yeah, but it doesn't drop the frame rate, so we're good. Let's see, yeah, those are the lighting effects I was talking about. Those produce shadows. This, for example, those lights that produce shadows are missing on the Switch version for performance reasons, so kind of makes sense. I'm getting some light drops when those lights show up, like you see here, but nothing major. So far, so good. So let's go back to the level thing and play the boss fight. The boss fight has many effects. ¿Has un test para el Scarlet Nexus? No, probablemente no, no quiero que me demoneticen. <laughs> Pero se verá, se verá. Alright guys, so let's go to the boss fight. That has many effects. That usually is a good test. No sé si es por YouTube, pero se ve medio lento. Sí, es porque lo vimos a 30 FPS y ahora lo estamos viendo... A 60 FPS ahora lo estamos viendo a 30. Entonces se ve lento, pero no es lento. It allows you to collect hidden gem even if you already collected it or you did not. I think it allows you to pick it up, but it doesn't count. So I do not know really. Círculo amarillo abajo del crash cuando salta es posible quitarlo? Sí, se puede. Se puede. Lo voy a tratar de sacar para mostrarte, pero sí. Okay, Jesus. Okay, guys, lower the texture quality to avoid this problem. So as you can see, we're getting 4 FPS now. This is due to the video memory. 
So we're going to lower those textures at 4K to avoid that problem. <laughs> so hang on. So as you can see, this level uses more video memory. You gotta lower those those VRAMs. Let me lower it to medium to have some room to spare. So textures on medium, and we save the progress. And I'm going to restart the level for the changes to apply. I hate when this happens on video games. Uh, Alright. Wish me luck. How strange. It still has problems. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is going on? Let's restart the game. I wish for the best. No, 8K. I think I'll skip 8K this time around. A lot of video memory. But let's see if after we restart the game it gets fixed. So we're doing medium textures. Because on the 570 I didn't have that problem. So yeah. <laughs> wish me luck. For give us a VRAM for 4K, it's a little to nothing. So yeah, good thing I tested multiple levels. But as you could see there, guys, the RAM usage was over a gigabyte, so it was compensating for the lack of VRAM. So it kind of makes sense. So let's see if that works. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. I was over 30 and out of nowhere in the other level, 4 FPS. I've seen the chat for the 1650 Super. <laughs> okay, let's give it another shot. Alright, resting pepperonis, maybe? Who knows? Sí, Panulu, debería estar bien. Deberías estar sobradísimo ahora mismo. Yeah, it still happens. What the heck? Let's see if it if it stabilizes over time. Yeah, the textures are not loading for some reason. So let's wait. Yeah, they're missing textures, so the textures didn't finish loading. Let's wait. Let's see if it stabilizes at all. I don't think so. Okay, let's pause the game. Let's pause, pause the game. Let's wait a little bit to see if it stabilizes. But yeah, F's in the chat for the 1650 Super. <laughs> but I think it's the only level where I saw that issue. Kind of weird. I'm pretty confused. I mean, the RAM usage is fine. The VRAM usage is okay. But the textures are not loading. Maybe if I lower the, the effects. Let's try high settings. I broke the game. Yeah, I always break games. That's kind of my, my specialty. But yeah, the VRAM seems to be the problem. So let's lower the post process shadows and effects. That should help us out. I remember the anti-aliasing is TAA, so it shouldn't affect performance like at all. Let's see. Okay, we jump from 4 FPS to 7, 8. And as you can see, the VRAM usage the VRAM usage ugh, the VRAM usage dropped to 3 gigabytes and the RAM usage dropped from 6 to 5.4. Let's see if it stays this way. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. But still not quite 30 frames. Let's see if lowering the settings to low fixes the problem. But as you can see, yeah, the effects and the shadows. Let's lower those. And we give it another shot. Okay, yeah. Now it's 30 frames per second, finally. So as you can see, this level requires you to lower the settings. So definitely at 4K, maybe try high settings in all the levels except this one. 
Yeah, the anti-aliasing is TAA, it doesn't make a difference at all, so do not worry. But this is a good stress test, this level. I'm pretty impressed with this level does to the GPU. It absolutely kills it <laughs> at 4K. So my advice for 4K maybe is everything basically on medium. Yeah, basically like that. And uh, on this level, drop the effects to low. And that should help you out. So 4K, medium, plus low effects. And that should help you out even on boss fights, I think. Yeah, that's a lot better. So like this, you got a good experience even in a boss fight. Good thing I tried that out. The other levels are less demanding, I think. So yeah, anyways. Uh, Giuseppe, sarà el culito. Read this game out of 10. I would say eight, or 8 out of 10. For the little I played it. Hello, hey Razul, 8446. How's it going, man? But it seems like a proper sequel to the PS1 games, so... Pretty impressed. Vaya, el juego no es muy exigente. No, para nada. La verdad que sorprendido. Yeah, even as you can see in this one, that I'm using a different character now, I'm getting over 30 at 4K. So as you can see, it's less demanding than the boss fight I just did. But it's more 3D than the other levels. It's nice to see more characters. Pretty interesting. But as you can see, 4K is fine. As long as you lower those settings, because we only have 4 gigs of VRAM. But remember, this is 4K on a 1650 Super, so... <laughs> I mean, the game is not demanding at all. It's pretty well optimized, I think. Yeah, guys, it's time to do the 1030, so let me lower the settings to 1080p. Again, on this game, my advice, 1080p max settings, 1440p max settings. On both of those, you should, give you, you should get 60 frames on the 1650 Super. Then, at 4K, just do medium settings with low effects, and you should get over 30, and that's about it. Not much to worry about. The game runs okay. As you can see on 1080p, you get over 100 FPS. So, yeah. Great, great performance. So now it's time to do the GT 1030. The only graphics card that you can buy in the world right now. Si, tiene más caderas que Aircraft. Si, estoy de acuerdo. Hey, Unlike. How's it going, man? Good seeing you again in the live stream. It's been a while. How's it going? So is this game... So this game is old and it's a remake, yes, or is the new one? It's a new one in the franchise. It's a, it's a sequel to the PS1 games, Crash 1, 2 and Warped. This is the sequel to Crash Warped. Crash Bandicoot Warped. It's a, it's a sequel to that one. It's a completely new game made from the ground up with those games in mind. And I, th and I think it succeeded with what they did. It's a completely new experience. So here's the 1650 Super, did a great job with the game. But the 4 gigs of VRAM doesn't help at 4K. Time to do the GT1030, the slowest graphics card I have. It doesn't have a 6-pin connector, it has a very tiny fan and a very tiny heatsink. It's, it's the GTDR5 version. So let's give it a shot. Oh, wish me luck. It should be slightly slower than the 750Ti. So it should be playable. But hey, gotta try it out. 
House 1440p Max on the 1660 Super. I mean, on the 1650 Super, 1440p Max was over 60, so the 1660 Super should be over 70 frames. Yeah, maybe 70 frames per second, 1440p Max. So don't worry, should be completely okay. And thank you so much, Jash Gaming. I appreciate that. Eh, no, Panolu, debería ir bien. Debería ir bien. Mientras lo bloquees a 30 y le pongas V-Sync. What is your age? 25. All right, we're back into the computer now. And this is a GT1030. I don't have an image for that, so GT1030 test. We're going to start with 1080p. So let's go. Here it is, GT1030. The GDDR5 version, that's important. The DDR4 version is absolute garbage in comparison. So yeah, how do you manage the drivers when you're switching between AMD and NVIDIA cards? Well, if you do it once and you have both drivers at the same time, that's okay. The thing is when you swap multiple times and you don't refresh the drivers, which I do each time I start the live stream, I remove every driver and I start them from the ground up, basically. So yeah. It's fine as long as you do it very few times, like I'm doing right now. So yeah, anyways, time to try it on the 1030. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's go. What is your name? I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be testing Crash Bandicoot 4. All right. Pensé que tendrías 29. Uy, me mataste, vos. No, tengo 25. Soy más joven que, no sé, que Brad Pitt. Como todo el mundo. All right. Here we go. So you never, ex never played the prequel. Will that affect my experience playing the game? It should be fine, man. You shouldn't need to play the, the prequels. The prequel. Crash 1, 2, and 3 are not necessary, but, but they are highly, highly recommended before playing this one. They are tougher in the control side but it's called the Insane Trilogy. If you play that, you're going to be super prepared for Crash 4. So my advice is that you play Crash 1, 2, and 3 on the Insane Trilogy and jump to this one. Taxius will be on medium because we only have two gigs of VRAM, so let's keep it at that. Let's continue. Do that intro again. Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Crash Bandicoot 4. So let's go back to the very first level, then we do the boss fight, and then we do whatever we're doing. So let's go back here. Hablas español, sí, pero hablo español con H. ¿Dónde sos? Dijiste vos. Sí, soy de Uruguay. <laughs> soy de Uruguay, soy de Uruguay. <laughs> Alright, GT1030. Okay, on the GT1030 on max settings 1080p, medium, medium textures. We're getting 30 frames per second. It's probably going to drop, but um, yeah, let's put those textures on. Yeah, mid textures. I'm going to do high settings. Max is, is going to be a little too much on the boss fight, so let's put it on high instead. Remember guys, this is a GT1030. This is already impressive in my books. But I'm going to do high because we are already very limited on the video memory side of things. Okay, much better. <clears throat> so, if we don't have enough video memory, we're going to... We're going to drop those taxes. But as of right now, we appear to be fine. So good, good stuff. At least first impressions are good. 30 frames per second. I'm probably going to need to lower those effects to low or medium. But first impressions are good again. So GT even the GT1030 can do 1080p30. <laughs> so that's impressive. So Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy is a prequel. Yeah, yeah, this is the sequel to those games.
Let's burn the GT 1030. Yeah, we're doing that as of right now. And we're going to enjoy every second. Eres profesor algo o algo, tu inglés es buenísimo. Bueno, muchas gracias. No, no soy profesor, no estoy ni cerca de eso. Soy Luis el first, pero practiqué mucho. Alright, yeah, even with effects on screen, we seem to be fine. So 1080p30, completely doable, as you can probably see. Good stuff, good stuff. So you can see that the game runs great. The GT1030 can do 1080p on high settings. I'm so impressed. So many people are going to be able to play this game. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the map and try the boss fight. The boss fight is usually the most demanding thing. Aquí ahora comienza mayormente el stream. Do test, digo, para acompañarte en el stream de Kingdom Hearts. Y como muy tarde a las 2 de la tarde. O sea, entre el mediodía y las 2 de la tarde arranco los streams, en general. Alright, let's see the boss fight, moment of truth. Let's see if we have enough video memory for the boss fight. This probably needs us to lower those uh, effects. Okay, not so bad. 26 FPS. Remember, effects are a big hit, so we're going to lower those to um, medium. Let's see how that goes. Alright, yeah, in the boss fight we dropped to 27, 28. Let's try medium instead. Medium, medium. If this doesn't help, we're going to disable the effects altogether. Okay, medium. So guys, if you want to be over 30 all the way through, you need medium settings. As you could see, the other level was fine on high settings. But the boss fights, such as this one, that have a lot of stuff going on, are going to drop. So if you want 30 all the time, medium settings is the way to go, as you can probably see here. But again, this is 1080p, so it's impressive to me at least that GT1030 can do this. So nice, good stuff. And if you overclock the card, it's going to be even better, so... Yeah. So let's now try 900p, now that we're here. Or, no, I'm playing one more level on 1080p. And then we're doing 900p. But as you can see, yeah, on a level like this, it's important that you tweak it a little bit. You're not going to swap settings for each level, so... Medium settings appears to be a good... Uh, a good way to play it on the 30. Max and DLC no es mucho, no porque es TAA. Te da 3 FPS más como mucho, así que no cambia nada. So guys, let's keep playing the game now. Now that we found the best settings for the 30. Es posible que caiga en el juego, nunca se sabe. A esperar. So we're now doing the, the level with a different character. And let's see how that goes. Ya está craqueado, ¿en serio? Hmm, let's find out. Ok, so now it's time to do this. Hang on guys, going to check something. Um, no, it's not cracked. <laughs> At least not yet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always online. Sorry to disappoint you guys, the game is still not cracked. But as I was saying, um, it's always online. That probably is going to make it make it make the crack more difficult. But if you have the money to buy it, I recommend you do so. It's a fantastic game so far. But again, always online, that's kind of a bummer. So maybe, if, if it ever comes to Steam, I mean, the other Crash Bandicoot games are on Steam, we're going to get it. Even in, do you know what game engine this is using? Yeah, this is Unreal Engine 4. The first Crash games, the Insane Trilogy, those are uh, Alchemy. But this one is uh, Unreal Engine 4. So that's maybe why it runs so well. Do you think this game will run on Windows 7? I do not know. Si 
Si es un procesador de 4 núcleos que aparece como un procesador de 8 núcleos. Porque tiene 8 hilos. 4 núcleos y 8 hilos. Es por eso. Oh, he killed me. Eh, no, Joel, la trilogía sí, pero este es otro juego separado que nada que ver. <risa> Alright. Oh, come on. But alright, the 1030, as you can see, is capable of running this on 1080p. Let's try 900p now on high settings. 60s is probably 720p territory. You prefer original games, not pirate versions? Well, good for you. I'm the same. But some people are different. Anyways, so high settings. We're going to do that on 900p. ¿Cuántos años tenés? ¿Te ves re joven? Sí, tengo 25 años. <laughs> Soy bastante joven, sí. Anyways, so 900p high, we're doing now. So 900p high. Now let's go all the way to the highest. I have high hopes for this card on the highest. So let's go to insane settings. So 900p max with medium textures. Let's keep it going. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Oh, okay, you can jump on it, Mario, Mario style. And after this, we're testing the boss fight once more. Boss fights are important. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm getting better at the game now. Until the Snake Times. Yeah, but this is not the usual MSAA. It's TAA. So the Egg Times is not actually Egg Times until the thing. It's just TAA. So it doesn't make a difference in this case. Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. I'm stupid, but not at that level. I kind of try to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's only on battle.net as of right now. So keep that in mind. Gotcha. Okay, where to? Oh, okay. The zoom is wrong. Oh, yeah. Thanks, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks, man. I forget to change the zoom. There we go. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, Jesus. That was a shark. Oh, also, I forgot to try. Some people ask me if that circle in the ground can be removed. I think so. Let me see. Here, enhanced shadows. So if you disable enhanced shadows, you have no, no marker in the ground that tells you where you're standing. So if that bothers you, you can turn it off. Personally, I like having it on. <laughs> if not, I'm pretty terrible at the game, really. What's your opinion on upcoming Unreal Engine 5? As I heard, Soul Next Gen game will use Unreal Engine 5 engine. What do you mean? S some next gen games? Well, Unreal Engine 5 seems to be very advanced, so a lot of GPU power is going to be necessary. So I think it's going to take a while until it makes to the mainstream. Just purchase the game, thanks. You're welcome, man. Enjoy it, Paradise Decay. I hope you can play it on VR, since you're very <laughs> into that. But yeah, Real Engine 4. None other than Unreal Engine 4. A very accessible engine. At least nowadays. It used to be super demanding. Okay, how many sharks? What the? Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, this is a PC version. Okay, I'm trying that later. Let's go to the boss fight and see how it goes. 
The boss fight is a real test. And after that we're doing 720. ¿Cómo va la GT 30? Eh, la GT 30 la vamos a probar en, 18, en 720p ahora. Paciencia. Ok, yeah. Do not do max settings on the GT 1030. The boss fight is going to suffer. <laughs> so we're doing high. Let's see if high works. Ok, yeah. High settings works. So for 900p my advice is high settings and medium effects. I think I'm only going to test it on 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 this boss fight. Seems to be the only real test. Yeah, maybe one more generation of GPUs until Unreal Engine 5 is mainstream. So yeah, guys, as you can see, high settings, medium effects, 900p, you get over 30 all the time, even in the boss fight. Which is fine. The game still looks great. So yeah, take advantage of that. Does your Windows update to the 20H2 slow your PC down? No, but I do PC formatting pretty often, so I reinstall Windows every six months. So I wouldn't say it slowed my PC down, but it added more options. It changed stuff from one place to another, like the sound settings and the system settings are now in the Windows 10 settings instead of the control panel. That pisses me off. Because things are not where, where I expect them to be, they just change the positioning of the options. That bothers me a lot. Come on Microsoft, you're better than that. Let's now do 720p. If your PC is running slow, try restart reinstalling Windows if it's been a while. Or reinstall the drivers after deleting them with DDU. Alright, so now we're going to try very quickly 720p lowest to see if we can get 60s. And if we cannot, we're going to go for 30. So 720p low will be our target right now. So we save the settings, we go to advanced, and we lower it to the minimum. Wish me luck. Why do you look drained? Because I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, 720p lowest. Okay, at 720p low, guys, you can get 60 frames. And you get the basic anti-aliasing. Even in the boss fights. Let's see if medium does the same. Let's try medium settings. Okay, yeah, medium is into the 50s. Oh, never mind. Okay, medium I think is a better balance. So we're going to keep it on medium. So 720p medium appears to be the best configuration for the 1030. 50 to 60 you get decent graphics. Let's put the effects on low just to keep the performance up. So medium plus uh, low effects and that's about it. So correction, these are the best settings for the smoothest performance and a good balance of graphics. Medium settings, low effects, and we're doing uh, 720p. That on the 1030 should be 50 to 60, even on the boss fights. And that's basically it. Ese rendimiento me preocupa. Es una 1030. ¿Qué esperabas vos? ¿Qué esperabas vos? Okay, so as you can see, that's 60 frames in one of the most demanding parts. So considering it's a GT 1030, I think it's pretty good. I was expecting a lot worse. So good stuff. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. This game got released on Epic or Steam. None of those. It's on Battle.net, unfortunately. <laughs> So, yeah, not, not Epic or Steam, only Battle.net. The place where you play Warzone, where you play all the other Activision stuff. So 
So yeah, unfortunately still not on Steam. So yeah, let's go to the next level. I've been here since the stream start for 7 minutes and I'm having fun watching the stream till now. Benchmarking plus entertaining Steam. Well, stream. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the live stream. Consulté mucha diferencia entre una 1050 de 2 GB y la 1030 de 2 GB. Sí, la 1050 es mucho más rápida. Por bastante. Yeah, guys. Personally, I think this configuration is the best for this card. 720p, medium settings, effects on low. So you get very good shadows, you get reflections, I think. And you get ambient occlusion. And you're playing at 60 frames per second, so what else do you want? 60 frames. The game is super responsive, still looks good. I maybe increase the anti-aliasing a little bit, since it shouldn't affect the performance that much. Because it's TAA. Oh yeah, that's looking better. Yeah, way sharper. At least in my eyes. <laughs> and the performance is basically the same. But I'm, I'm super impressed on the numbers on this game so far. It runs on basically anything. Yeah, Red Wings, Aces of the Sky is free. Yeah, yeah, thank you, I saw your message. I'm going to make a video after this livestream. So yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate that. I, I didn't have enough time, I was eating, so... Yeah, I couldn't tell you guys about it due to that, but that's fine. I always appreciate the heads up. Let's keep his ass, alright. Wonderful. Will you be testing Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Probably Kingdom Hearts 3 will be my test, because the other ones are super expensive. Yeah, I shared the link in the chat, but it was like two hours ago, so <laughs> so yeah, kind of makes sense. But don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to make a video talking about that in a few. Need to finish doing timestamps for the live stream and all that good stuff. Oh, dang it! I screwed up. But at least there is checkpoints. Better than nothing, I guess. Right. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh no. I hate that motion detection. Pretty poor. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Really? I missed the rope? Okay. Okay. So we're going back to the map. Will it run on base 1052 gigabytes on 1080p resolution? Yeah, sure. It should be a lot better than this. See guys, this is what I was talking about, about the internet connection. Please check your network and restart the game. The game will now close and turn you to battle.net. So they didn't kick you out of the level, but they kick you out of the game once you finish the level. But I think that was clear enough. I think I'm done with the live stream. I'm tired of looking at logos and I have to tell you guys about the free game. So let's go to Steam. One second. But as you can see, the 1030, best settings, medium settings, 720p, low effects. And that's basically it. But if you want to buy Crash 4, it's on battle.net, basically. So what was I talking about? Uh, Red Wings, Aces on the Sky. Red Wings. There we go. So guys, this game is free right now. Until 8, 7, in around 5 hours it expires. So it's now in my library. So I'm going to copy and paste this, I think. So if you're interested in a free game, here it is. Red Wings, Aces of the Sky. I'm going to copy and paste copy and paste the link in the chat so you guys can access so he, there you go enjoy your free game i'm going to make a video talking about this right now so see you in a bit thank you guys so much for watching see you on the 16.50 te hago full 1080p 60 
So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see ya next time. The game is like $40 on Battle.net, $39.99. See you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Can you show us your library? Yeah, sure. Uh, how do I show you that? So here's my library. I have 700 games, I think. So yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> when you have a YouTube channel, you're going to have a lot of games. Just look at the side panel here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in my Steam library. As you can see. Let's see my profile. Yeah, 650 games, basically. So it never ends. I always have something to, to record. <laughs> yeah, and the stream is super long, two hours. Holy hell, I've been here for a while. So yeah, guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you later. Love you all.